Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to make my uh, roasted spaghetti squash today. All right, so there are three parts of this recipe. Uh, roasting the squash, making the red sauce, and making the filling. So we're going to start by uh, cutting the squash in half and then removing the inside, but not too much, just the seeds. We're going to uh, preheat our oven to 400. We're going to put some olive oil, black pepper and sea salt inside the squash. So light brush, not too much. You're going to bake it for about 40 to 50 minutes, depending on how big your squash are. Then you're going to flip them immediately and let them cool. While the squashes are cooling, we are going to make the red sauce. Begin by sauteing your garlic, onion, red peppers, and you're going to add some parsley or uh, coriander, whichever one you prefer. Put some uh, tomato paste. You're going to put some chicken seasoning, and you're going to put some oregano and the other seasoning listed on the recipe. You're going to cook them for about 10 to 15 minutes and you remove them and place them on a bowl. You're going to use the same pan and you're going to now cook the meat. Go ahead and cook your meat and you're going to break them down and you're going to add some red wine vinegar. And once you add the red wine vinegar, you're going to go ahead and put your tomatoes. You're going to put your pasta sauce and you're going to put the sauteed onions that you made earlier. You want to let it cook on the stove until it boils. In the meantime, we're going to make a filling by adding a chopped spinach, um, the cheeses, and olive oil, salt, black pepper, Italian seasoning. If the consistency of uh, the filling is too thick, go ahead and add some more olive oil uh, so that it could be creamier. Make sure you taste this part here to make sure that um, it's seasoned the way you want before adding it to the squash. Using a fork, go ahead and remove uh, the meat from the uh, squash and it's gonna look like spaghetti. Once removed, now it's time to actually uh, assemble our squash balls. Place back some of the spaghetti squash and the squash balls. You will add your meat sauce, you want to add your spinach ricotta mix. Then you're going to top it off with some mozzarella cheese and a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese. And it's gonna be ready to go back in the oven. Now we're going to place them back in the oven for about uh, 10 minutes, depending on how melted you want your cheese to be. If you want your cheese to be very brown, you're gonna put it longer. Or you can basically um, cook it for 10 minutes and then add uh, two minutes or three minutes for um, broil. To fit the Halloween theme, I decided to brown mine more. So the top were really, really crispy, but again, the inside was uh, gooey. So that's what I was going for to fit the theme for Halloween. While the squash were cooking, I actually used some uh, used the time to actually carve um, a skull from one of the cooked uh, squash uh, to fit the Halloween theme. Once you remove from the oven, you can let it sit for about five minutes before you enjoy because it will be really, really hot, and it's ready to eat. Um, I usually add some garnishes on it, such as um, dry parsley. I use uh, more red pepper flakes on top of it, or just some hot sauce, and um, it's really, really delicious. This recipe is one of my favorite, favorite recipes to make in the fall season. Enjoy.